Hello everyone. Let's find out an equation for wave velocity and particle velocity. To understand this, imagine that a wave moves along the positive x axis. So energy would move in this direction. We want to find out what is the particle's velocity as well as the wave velocity itself. Particle velocity means what is the velocity of any one particle? Keep in mind that here the particles undergo simple harmonic motion that is each particle would vibrate about its mean position. So we want to find that velocity also. Understand this. Let's recall the expression for wave. It says y is equal to a into sine omega t minus k into x assuming that the initial phase angle is zero that is the particle starting from the mean position this is what we are assuming this term in the brackets is called as phase for a given wave equation this is a constant because it's just an angle just a number it remains a constant which means you can say omega t minus k into x is a constant just a number example think of y is equal to a into sine 45 degree that's just a pure number 45 is a pure number so putting it back here we get omega t minus k into x is a constant differentiating this what we get is omega t minus k x is equal to differentiating a constant and from here if you open the brackets the general differentiation if you it's confusing you can take with time t also the idea is same only if you look at this we get d by dt of omega t minus d by dt of k into x is equal to zero because differentiating a constant give us zero now for a given wave equation omega is a constant so omega comes out of the differentiation symbol so what remains is it will be d by dt of just t minus even k comes out as a constant it will be d by dt of x that is equal to zero this term here means rate of change of x we have assumed that the wave moves along the x-axis because energy is moving along the x-axis and the particles are vibrating about the y-axis. So keep in mind that the energy is moving along the x-axis. It is a one-dimensional wave, which means this is nothing but it tells you how far x is changing with time. That would be the wave velocity. Therefore, putting it back here, omega into 1 minus k into x is equal to I mean, k into v is equal to 0 omega is equal to k into v therefore v is equal to omega by k this is what is the wave equation you could have got this also by the form using v is equal to f into lambda and then if you rewrite this multiply by 2 pi 2 pi and 2 pi and solve it this is what you would get also you can put multiple ways Instead of taking an equation like this, let's take an equation which is of the form y is equal to a into sin omega t plus kx. We already learned that this would indicate a wave moving along the negative x axis. To justify this, we again try to find the velocity from here. So, this is the constant. Differentiating that constant omega t plus kx is equal to 0 because of this factor differentiating constant would give us 0 so because of which this term becomes 0 if I expand this t dt by dt into omega plus k into dx by dt that is 0 this term is 1 so omega plus k into this is v plus v is equal to 0 bring this side we get v is equal to minus of omega into k 
just means that the velocity is negative so whenever in the phase term if a plus sign is present it means the particle or the wave energy moves along the negative x direction this is what is the a velocity to find particle velocity we should differentiate this term because it gives us the displacement of the particle along the y direction you want to find what is any particles velocity we should differentiate this term it's already been done in case of simple harmonic motion so there if you look at it if we differentiate it then the velocity of the particle would be a into omega into cos omega t minus kx or omega velocity p is equal to a into omega into to solve it then what you get from here would be if you write sine in terms of cosine in terms of sine and solve it we get omega into under root of a square minus y square is what we get so this is the particle velocity and this is the wave velocity